Hi there. Now, suppose we had a group of numbers, say the numbers 1 to 6, or the letters that are the vowels of the alphabet. In mathematics, we tend to call these groups sets, and we use curly brackets to denote a set. So we put them round the group of numbers that we've got. So we would call this the set of integers from 1 to 6, and this the set of vowels. Now, we can use letters to name a set. For example, let A be the set of people in a family, where A is equal to the set of people Stuart, Susan, Emma and Andrew. Or, if P equals the set of integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, we could write this even as p equals the set of x such that x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 6 where x is an integer. So we've got several ways then that we can label sets. Now I next want to talk to you about members or elements of a set. And these are the components or objects of a set. So, for instance, the 2 here is a member or element of this set. The I here is a member or element of this set. And the symbol here is used to denote a member of or element of a particular set. And when you put a line through it, that symbol is used to denote is not a member of or is not an element of a particular set. So we could say that Susan is a member of A but Peter is not a member of A. Or we could say that 3 is a member of P but 7 is not a member of the set P. And finally the number of members of a set A is written as N and then in brackets here we write whatever set we're talking about. So in this case set A. And so the number of members or elements in set A equals 4, as you can see here, the 4 people. And the number in set P is equal to 6. OK? So I hope that's given you some idea then how we go about defining a set, the notation we use, and what we mean by members or elements of a set, and how we write down the number of members or elements in a set. Now in the next video I want to talk to you about the different types of sets that we can get. So I hope you'll have a look at that one.